Hello Pelican Sound, I'm your head golf professional Tim Harris. I hope everyone's doing well, and staying safe and healthy during these crazy times. I want to start off by thanking all of our year-round members who have done their duty and kept themselves safe and followed all the protocols that we've got outlined uh, when they're playing golf. Everyone's doing a great job. And I also want to welcome all of our returning members. And this video is kind of a way for us to uh, let you know what we're doing as far as precautions go in the golf department to ensure your safety and not only your safety but our employees as well. Um, the first thing you'll probably notice upon return is that all staff members are wearing masks when they are on duty and when they are uh, interacting with members. Um, out here at the bag drop you'll notice that our, our cart guys are still around but they may not be doing some of the services that you're used to. Um, as far as cleaning golf clubs or uh, loading your bags on the carts for you. And that's all done in the best interest of your safety. Um, we do not have bag storage right now, but we are planning on returning that in January. So right now, the protocols are that if you do need to use one of our fleet golf carts, our uh, staff will stage them out at the bag drop area. You can pull up in your car, park your car in the uh, parking spot, go get one of the golf carts and then drive them out to your car if you'd like to load up your own bags and when you do load up your own bags you can just go check in with the starter after that you don't need to go in the golf shop to check in so you can just check in with the starter at the starter booth um, when you're out there playing and you're done please return the golf cart immediately after your round I know sometimes that we have um, it's easy to go over there to the 19th hole, so to speak, and to park your cart there behind the clubhouse and then go inside to the bar, to the restaurant. Uh, but we need you to return the carts right away because we have to turn them when it gets really busy and we need to clean and disinfect the carts um, so that someone else who's going out right behind you can get a cart right away. We are still mandating single cart riding right now, so we do have a premium on how many golf carts can go out. So until we start allowing uh, double riders again, um, please do your best to uh, return the cart right away. Um, other things you'll probably notice that aren't going on out there is that we don't have towels in the golf carts and we don't have cups that are available over there at the drinking uh, fountain. So please bring your own towel, but bring your own cup if you need to use that. The water machines still work and the ice and water still work, but we uh, do require that you bring your own cup. Um, so those are some of the things that are going on out here. Um, the number one priority again is safety for us and for you. So uh, we hope that you can uh, understand and hopefully when things get back to normal, um, some of those services will return. I'm gonna take you out in the golf course right now and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, care of the golf course and some of the other things that uh, are going on out there to ensure your safety as well. Thanks. Some of the things you're gonna notice when you're out there playing the golf course is that we have removed a lot of the frequently touched uh, things that are out there, touch points. We're trying to minimize a lot of contact with certain things. Rakes in the bunkers, we've removed all the rakes out of the bunkers. Um, ball washers that are out there, uh, sand buckets that are on the par three tees, things that are, uh, you know, a lot of people, multiple pe people will be touching during the round, we've taken off the golf course. We are, however, gonna put the rakes back on the golf cart starting Monday, October 19th. So you see right behind me here, this is one of our fleet carts. We do have the rakes that are going to be going in the golf carts and on the back of the golf carts. We're also gonna have some of these rakes available for homeowner carts. Let's say you have a homeowner cart, but you don't have a rake, you can uh, come see us in the golf shop and we're gonna be selling uh, these rakes also. So you can get some more information on that uh, in the wave article that I'm gonna do. But rakes will be put back on the golf carts uh, starting Monday. Um, when you're out there on the golf course, you'll also notice that the blue discs here have been put back on. Okay, now this is an issue for our handicapped drivers. We want to make sure that you're following the rules and that you're staying to the outside of the blue disc handicap markers as you can see here i have my golf cart to the outside of the blue disc we're standing here on the ninth green of the sound course the green is is over here here's the blue disc that's 20 to 30 feet away from the edge of the green um, it's very simple to follow those rules i know that there's some of you out there that kind of have a tendency to push those rules and get a little bit closer to the green you guys know who you are. Do me a favor, help me out. Stay to the outside of the blue discs, okay? You have seen me, I've given you a booklet that outlines where you're supposed to drive your cart. You signed off on it, you agreed to do it, so please do it. I don't like getting emails and I don't like getting complaints about people that are driving too close to the green. So 
let's all do our part if you have a handicap flag if it was issued to you by me then you know that the blue discs are where you're supposed to stay to the outside of okay so help us out stay to the outside of the blue discs when you're parking your cart and we'll all be happy uh, as far as the golf course itself it's in great shape all three nines were opening up on monday we're ready to go uh, care of the course is always an important thing so you know do your best to fill your divots at all times you make a divot fill it the sand buckets are on the carts okay scoops sand fill in your divots okay ball markers on the greens repair your ball marks it's always good to repair yours and one other that you might see if every member does their part then the golf course will remain in fantastic shape um, other things that we want to make sure that you do is that you don't drive your cart in the rough okay try to drive your cart in the fairway as much as you can doesn't mean that you can't go in the rough okay if your ball's in the rough and you have to drive your cart to go hit your ball that's fine but don't drive the length of the rough all the way down to the hole once you hit your shot when you hit your shot go to the cart path if you want drive down the cart path and then cut over to where your ball is next we just don't want you driving continuously in the rough doesn't mean you have to avoid the rough i think some people are saying no you got to stay out of the rough that's not true just avoid driving the length of the rough when you're driving your golf cart okay you hit your tee shot drive down the cart path as long as you can until you have to go into your to get your ball everyone's riding single carts now so we can all go to our own ball doesn't mean that you have to drive all the way down the rough so stay out of the rough as much as you can but if you have to hit a ball out of the rough you can park your cart in the rough hit your shot then go to the fairway or the cart path after that okay so the golf course is in great shape like i said we're looking forward to everyone enjoying the golf course everyone needs to do their part to keep the golf course in great shape now i'm going to go ahead and tell you about a couple of things that are going on uh, tournament wise and with the golf shop uh, next thanks all right i'm standing outside the golf shop as the fall season is upon us, that means tournament season is here. So we have some great events that are coming up. But just so everyone's clear, no more shotguns for now. I mean, for the time being, at least through the rest of the calendar year, we're gonna do everything by tea times. So all events that are taking place, the information for them is uh, posted in the WAVE newsletter. Um, look for the information that, because Chelsea is what we use primarily to sign up, but it is going to be tea time, all events going forward, at least for the immediate future. Um, also things that are going on in the golf shop is that, you know, I mentioned earlier that you don't have to check in in the golf shop anymore, but we do want to still see you. Come on in. We have some great uh, new items coming in. The golf shop actually has a Facebook page now. So if you have a Facebook account, look up Pelican Sound Golf Shop. We put a lot of information in there about things that are coming in, new apparel items. Also, we give information on clinics and tournaments in there as well. Uh, so we want you to like our page. So go ahead, if you haven't done so already, go to Facebook and like Pelican Sound Golf Shop. Uh, Tracy does a great job with the merchandise, and we want you to still come in and see what we have to offer, even though you're not checking in right now. Um, so as far as clinics goes, I mentioned the clinics. Um, no more are we going to have clinics where you just walk up and show up. We want you to sign up for the clinics. Mary and Ian and Blake, and even myself on occasion, will be giving the clinics. So information on those clinics that take place in November and December are also going to be published in the wave but you do need to sign up for them you need to sign up to participate in a clinic because with social distancing requirements we're not going to take more than six people at a time okay so it's very important that you do sign up for any clinics that are taking place um, other things that are going on with the golf shop uh, as far as handicap posting of scores we still do not have the handicap posting stations in the hallway anymore the handicap committee is going to start monitoring score posting starting monday october 19th so if you have the gin app that's where you will post your scores or you can also do it uh, with your computer online but it's very important to start posting your scores i mentioned earlier that tournament season is upon us we want to make sure everybody's handicaps are up to date so if you haven't started doing so start posting your scores when you're out there playing the handicap committee is going to start checking those and monitoring those and anyone who doesn't post a score may get a letter from the handicap committee we don't want that um, as always, if you are going to be playing, but you do not want to post your score for whatever reason, if you're playing a scramble or if you're injured or if you're playing uh, another format that doesn't require a score, please alert the golf shop before you go out for your round. Then we can tell the handicap committee. That way you don't get the letter. Okay, so that's very important. So posting of scores is going to uh, start right away. Monitoring of scores on Monday. 
get the app, gin.com on the computer or the gin app, G-H-I-N. That app is where you can post all your scores. So I think that covered a lot of things. As always, my door is always open. I'm looking forward to seeing the returning members. And once again, thank you to all the members that have been here year round. It was a busy summer. Rounds were up more than usual. It was great to see everybody out here and everybody taking precautions and trying to stay safe. So wherever you are now, stay safe and healthy. And if you're around the golf course, around the golf shop, we look forward to seeing you. Looking forward to a great season, Pelican Sound. Take care. Thanks.